So now let us see how we can work with text entry boxes inside of Adobe Captivate. So to work with text entry boxes, I'm going to go around here and then choose text entry box. You can see right here, there's a text entry box, so I can just resize it, keep it anywhere I want. And there's a submit button that comes along with it, as you can see. So I can keep this anywhere. And let's say this is a name input area right over here. So the default text that I want to add in is enter your name right over here. So over here, you can see that there are some options. You can make this a password field or you can also validate the user right over here. And let's say, for example, there are certain uh, entries that are accepted, for example, uh, dates or if it's a month like January, February, you can add that in over here. But in my case, it's a name, so there's no validating uh, whatsoever. You can also go to more user right over here and input the maximum length. For example, I can keep somewhere around 100. And I also have an option to whether just allow numbers, lowercase, uppercase, or allow all. So I'm just going to press OK right over here, just like that. I can also change the color as you can see right over here. So I can change the color of the text box just like that. And I can also go over here and then work around with the text button as you can see. So I can say submit or I can say OK right over here. I can also make it transparent as you can see just like that. So now I got this ready, as you can see. And what I want to do is I want to rename this variable so that it's easy. So I'm just going to say name 01, right? That, just like that. So I'm just going to say name 01 right over here. You can rename the variable. So on the next slide, what I want to do is I want to take the same name that the person enters and then I'm going to say hello. So I'm just going to create another blank slide right over here and I'm going to take a text caption. Hello. Okay, so this is the text right over here. I'm going to copy and paste this and this is where the text entry will pop up. So I'm just going to select this out and I'm going to go around to this uh, insert variable option right over here and then select the variable that is the text entry box right over here. Seems like I have not renamed the variable correctly right over there. So the variable is here as you can see just like that. So I can go over here and then change the variable name uh, right over here. You can see uh, right over here. So let me just change this out and you'll be able to see this. That's the variable name right over here. So I'm just going to say name 01. So that is going to be the variable name of this one right over here. So once that is done, I'm going to go around here and select the variable. So I'm just going to double click and select this out right over here and then choose that particular variable. So let me just click on this, select variable and name one. That's the data I want. And I'm going to press OK. And you can see that now it has been linked. So I'm just going to go around here and then type in the rest of the text. So I'm going to say, uh, welcome to the lesson. So welcome uh, to the lesson, just like that. Uh, the name I can change its format as well. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do something like 28 for this one, or maybe I'm going to turn it black and so forth. So now let's see how everything works like right over here. So I can go over here into preview and I'm going to go to project right over here and the text entry box will work out. So if I were to press the play button, you can see it says enter your name. So I'm just going to add in Robert. Uh, press, all right. So you can see right over here, I've entered the name. I'm going to press OK. And then in the next slide, what happens is that it says hello right over here, but it's not fitting up. So we can do a bit of an adjustment right over there, as you can see. So I can just increase the size of the text box right over here. And let's try to preview it again. So let's see that out. So it's previewing the project. So I'm going to see right over here. All right. So I'm just going to press OK and on the next slide, you'll be able to see the same name right over there. So you can really make your lessons interactive by using this option right over here. And if you are into using learning management system, then this can be used for a lot of things like collecting data and so forth as well. Uh, so hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.